Welcome to The Real Projections video cast. As always, I am your intrepid host, David Russell. With me, as always, always is yeah. uh, Joe Barty. Hi, how are you? And Jules. <laughs> Jules. Jules is joining us. Substitute Bimbo. Substitute Bimbo. Yeah. What, what, what is your official title? Go ahead and tell me. I'm arts and entertainment editor. Arts and entertainment editor. Jilf. <laughs> Send your letters of complaint to <laughs> Julie Yeah. Uh, so we're 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 gonna try and talk about um, kind of like the off the like everybody talks about Christmas shit this time of year is. because it's Christmas. But we're gonna try and talk about the kind of like off the radar Christmas stuff that nobody else really discusses, like you know movies, yes. specials. So uh, let's start with movies since it's kind of. What well, I wasn't do. prepared for that. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Um, so some of my favorite. Uh, Kind of off the radar Christmas movies are I like uh, Joyeux Noël. Oh, yes, I yeah, I go for it. I fucking I'm all wow. for French. I didn't know we were doing pretentious, <laughs> not quite Christmas movies. It's a movie podcast. That's what do you think? Right. It's all Joyeux pretentious. Noël. Tell me about Joyeux Yo 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 Noël. Anything from New Zealand? Yo Yo Ma. Yo Yo Ma. Um, no, it's actually a uh, it's a movie about the Christmas armistice in uh. World War One. Now, oh, I, when they would when they would run from the the trenches and put gifts in the middle and then have other people yes, go and get yes, them. Yes, yes, that yes. is exactly that, how World War One was. That was, was my first clue that war was <laughs> totally fucked up and That's made like, no, no sense. <laughs> so, so this is this is an actual historical event that really happened. There yes. was a Christmas armistice during World War One where all sides put down their shit on Christmas and played a game of football. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure yeah. that's what the video was about. And at the end, they mustard gassed both sides. <laughs> they did. They went well, well I, I, twenty years. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna talk about Die Hard, but Matt told me I wasn't allowed to. Ooh. because it's, it's too. Uh, it, everyone talks about mainstream. Die Hard. So but Bruce Willis saves Christmas. Right? He does save Christmas. He does. Uh, now I have a machine gun. Ho ho ho! ho, ho. ho. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. But you know what? Funnier Die just talked about. See, Die Hard. So, so yeah. So we're not jump the that. shark. Instead, instead, do it. Same exact. Virtually the same thing, but also overlooked. Lethal Weapon, also a Christmas movie. Oh! If you remember, the most, most prominently in my mind would be uh, towards the end when uh, uh, Mr. Joshua, what the fuck, uh, Gary Busey, oh. goes to the Murtaugh home. Uh, yes, for yeah. After that, after oh. that though, go have some more arms roasting um, on an open that's fire. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but so he goes and uh, goes to Murtaugh's house to kill him later, and then yes, him and, yes, uh, yes, yes. Him and uh, uh, Riggs have a fight on the lawn. Remember that? Oh, I do remember Before that. Before that, though, he crashes his car right through the family Christmas tree. That's right. Yes, yes. Oh. And there, there, uh, Christmas just floats around the edges of that movie entirely. Thanks. So I like to watch that at the holidays. <laughs> um, <laughs> Because, you know, it, nothing says to me goodwill to your fellow man than beautiful naked women jumping off of balconies that during the credit sequence. Is my, you have a... Well, I was thinking about movies that have Christmas in them, like Christmas scenes, and when it's a little bit dark, but like, kind of, I don't know, therapeutic for the kind of madness that goes on during the holiday season is Brazil. Terry Gilliam movie from right. 1985. Okay. Dystopian brilliance, you know, just... Uh, you know, it just kind of shows the world gone mad with bureaucracy and mass commercialism and a guy trying to make a quiet escape through his imagination and you're falling in love. So it's kind of, I think that's kind of like an anti, like holiday craziness kind of I think movie to watch. Lillian Hellman, is that her name? No. Yeah, uh, Lily, yes. Is that the actress's name? I'm on it, from, I think so. From so I can't yeah, uh, uh, I'm on it, give me a second. She had the crazy who is, plastic who is also surgery. Who's the boss? Yes. 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 She had the Who's crazy the plastic yeah, surgery. Yeah, she played movie. Mona on Lose the Ball. Oh, oh, I love her. Yeah. She was on Coach. She, she was. was she, she was like a wow. really. We funny... just her entire career arc was just summed up <laughs> in this conversation. Catherine Hellman. Catherine, Catherine Hellman. Hellman. Oh, thank you. when sorry, you bring out the Hellman, sorry, you bring Lillian out the Hellman best. fans. You know. I, Fucking pissy gingers. I love them. <laughs> uh, and Robert De Niro has a great uh, cameo in it. Wow, I, yeah. I need to see that. It's, it's a great been, movie. See it again. Yeah. It's been never. I've actually never seen Brazil. Oh, I think about it. the Blu-ray really? was on my yeah. desk for like six months. Really? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I sold it. I dropped it. That's one holiday. of my all-time favorites. All and it's right. definitely a good go one to see when you're feeling kind of bah humbug about the craziness yeah. of Christmas. So, so, so wait, I just want to clear sure, go ahead. dystopian future makes you feel better about <laughs> right, the present. Yes. At Christmas. Okay, I'd like to move on to a non-traditional Christmas movie that has nothing to do with Christmas at all. But what the fuck? You'll see where I'm going <laughs> in a second. All right, all right, pitch it. This is what I don't understand. On Christmas night, you know, the presents will all be wrapped, we'll all be full, you'll be on the couch, you'll turn on the TV, and invariably, the Lord of the Rings trilogy will be playing. What? Why is that? 
That is not true. I believe true. it is true. That it is, is not it is, true. It is 100% true. If you look it up right now, Lord of the Rings will be on TNT or TBS Lord or USA the or Rings. NBC or whatever Christmas. Oh. on Christmas Day. She'll back me up. Yes, thank you. I believe it's because the movies came out at Christmas, so now they are inextricably linked to the holiday. Really? Yes. But for some reason, Lord of the Rings, always Christmas in America. Is that like uh, Star Wars always plays on Thanksgiving? Does it? Yeah, I, th- I think I've kind of I think they that. literally yeah. just anything they can find that was popular and can <laughs> fill 19 hours of programming, <laughs> yes. they will put on at Christmas so they can all go home and not run the machines. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. Think about, about holidays. Like, like I was saying this about a dragon tattoo, uh, which is going to come out on Christmas Day, okay. uh, and, and actually ends at Christmas. So tangentially oh, right. a Christmas movie. All and right. people are going to, I don't think about Christmas Day, it comes out 21st. People are going to go see it on Christmas. And I was like... Why would you, like, really? Ah, oh, goodwill towards men, joy. Let's go see a movie with lots of anal rape in it. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, and I'm not ruining anything. Everybody yeah. fucking knows that that happens in that movie. I did not know that. You didn't actually. know anal? No. Oh, that's the fucking selling point. You fucking point. bartied anal that's rape. The, the, that's the selling point of Dragon Tattoo. It happens in the first, like, 30 minutes. Anal rape. That, that Christmas anal rape. <laughs> you know? Nothing, <laughs> you know? I, uh... I watched a lot of Oz as a kid, so really, the whole anal rape thing was I, I read about I a sleeper movie that was under the radar called Sleepers? Rare, no, not. Well, Sleepers is a good thing. Yeah. Rare, Air, Rare Exports a Christmas Tale. It's from Finland. And it's about an archaeological dig where they, they unearth Santa Claus. And is he like what? five feet tall and like reindeer? I don't know if he's here? living or dead because we had to do like a podcast the... before I found out. Yeah. Oh my god. It... <laughs> so this oh, one's a cliffhanger. Santa what, what is it? Hold on, hold on. Rare exports, a Christmas tale. Rare exports? It sounds like uh, The Thing and a Christmas movie yes. yeah, combined. But, but combined with heartwarming Christmas yeah. tale. It looks kind of There's a really great scene where they all stand and spread time. out over the ice and you can see the shadow of a sled. Holy shit. Look at what? that. <laughs> This I, Christmas, everyone will believe in Santa Claus. This, is a good, this would be a good time to tell you that Dave is going to put links at the bottom of it. I'm going to fucking <laughs> link the shit out of this. Rare export. It's going to be down there. All right, what about like uh, like some Christmas like specials? Specials. What a great idea. Yeah, I like that. You know that. which one doesn't get talked about enough is the Rankin Bass one with Santa Claus coming to town. I always hear about Rudolph. Rudolph, yes, which, Frosty, which I just watched. But the horrifying. Santa Claus coming to town one is which so one is, is awesome. Which one is that one? It's kind of like the love story of Santa Claus and Mr. Oh, Claus. yeah, when he's younger. He's younger and he's a ginger Like a ginger. Dude. Yes! Yeah. Uh, he has tattoos? Gingers? No, he's a ginger dude. Oh, I was he's like... He's a righteous oh, dude. dude. <laughs> it's the, the Rudolph one. So. Yeah, oh. which again... But it's the same time period. Fucking frightening. I saying. love all those you think they're crazy? Ones. No, Rudy, 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 the Rudolph one is scary. Really? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of weird shit that goes on in there. I love that style, though. Uh, I do, too. Yeah, yeah, no, the style is cool, but like you have a you have a weird snow creature that gets all its teeth ripped out and yeah. then it becomes friends with the folks right. and there's a there's the, the island of misfit toys really dwell on it a little no it, i'm a charlie in yeah, the box no, exactly. nobody wants a charlie, no, nobody in, the wants a charlie in the box exactly and then rudolph goes and they like give I, a a I swear there was going to be a scene where they all jump off a cliff into oh, icy water but nice. it didn't happen yeah, they actually it's an ice flow yeah, yeah they, it's they very just, inuit they just float away and slowly melt <laughs> into the water like we're doing with the polar yeah. bears Star Wars Christmas special. Oh my god. Star Wars Christmas special. I did it. I threw it right out there. Yeah, you sure did. Can you is that available? Can you, you get, get it? it on YouTube? You get it on YouTube. Any and even the YouTube copies are you know like what? incredibly bad. You know what? We're gonna put it down there too. Yes, we should. We should. <laughs> we should. Can you really get it? Like doesn't Lucas like every Christmas go around and try to get that thing expunged you know what? from the let's record? Find, let's find you know what? You know what we fucking left out? Um the uh Emmett the Otters Oh Emmett Otters, Otters Band. Joke Band Christmas, yes, and we sure Christmas did. toy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have right. you ever seen any of those? Uh, Emily Mm-mm. Otter, I'm a fucking expert Dude, on. all right, uh, so Jim Henson, uh, I don't know if he was alive when he did it or not. I want to say he was. I think he was still. Yeah, it's, For Emmett Otter, I'm sure he was still alive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, and he was actually did the voice that's of That's not one of Richard Pryor, is it? Christmas toy? No, that's, that's just, just the, the toy. toy. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's, okay. You think of Jackie Gleason. <laughs> That's so awesome! <laughs> that would make such an awesome fucking movie. Like a little follow-up. Oh, he's dead though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. They're all dead. Yeah. Everybody's dead. Have you heard about Pogue's Christmas song? <laughs> very, very serious. All right, we're done. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't Just, continue this. If you take nothing else from this, don't rent <coughs> Emmett Otter's Joe Van. Yes, or the Christmas toy. Yeah. All right. For for a Joe Barty, and yes. the Christmas bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> arts and, and arts really and wait 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 did you just do this yeah i was like doing is that, that oh, 
All right. I'm sorry. Right. Uh, reindeer antlers. We're out. We got to cut this. Reindeer antlers. We're done. Uh, I love go? you. I love you all. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. See, they're, they're Have a kicking Kwanzaa. A wrap in Ramadan. A go. You did close. Boxing day. A swinging solstice. Uh, I don't know. Crazy Kwanzaa. Right, and, 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 right. and a happy new year. We're out. Better. Wave. Bye. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Is that a Mr. Hanky Christmas? Shut up. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, Mr. Hanky was good, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Better. Bye.